Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna learn Sound of Silence, obviously Simon and Garfunkel, iconic tune, and I'm doing it with this really awesome new pick called a Black Mountain Pick, which clamps onto your thumb as a finger pick, but then you can also hold it, hold it as a flat pick as well, so it functions both ways. I got a link for you to check out in the description below. They're really great and helpful. I think you'll dig it. All right, let's learn it. All right, capo on the sixth fret. Uh, the first chord is an, it's like a A suspended, but it's really working as an A minor chord in the progression. But you're putting your uh, middle finger on second fret G, and you're gonna hit that with your right thumb, with, with or without a thumb pick, you know. And then high E with middle finger, and then index finger on B, back to high E. So that's the first chord, A minor but it's A suspended. Next, you're gonna play a G chord, and I'm using ring finger, middle finger, and pinky. And with the thumb, you're gonna hit the E string. Middle finger, you're gonna get the high E string. Then with the thumb again, you're gonna hit the G, and then the high E again. So. Put them together. Okay, next is a new pattern, and we're gonna play a full on A minor. Not an A sus, just a straight A minor. And with a thumb, we're gonna hit the open A, and then high E, and then G with the thumb, B with the middle finger, so check it out. Like that. You do that twice. And then the third one, you do it the exact same way, but instead of the open A, it's the D. So that third one is D, E, G, B. So check it out. Third one just like that. So you put everything together. Here comes the A minor now. So it's only three and then one time on C. And that pattern is gonna be just like the A minor. Um, the A string, high E, G with the thumb, and then B with the index. Check it out. Right into an F chord, and I would think for most people, it's gonna be easier to play an F bar chord. You're gonna need to play the bar chord. Uh, what's working for me easier to get the B string to ring out cleaner. I'm doing the thumb on the, and then I'm covering the first fret high E and B, middle finger on the G, and that pattern is gonna be the E string, and then the high E, and then the G, and then the B. So you're gonna see that. The most common pattern in the song is the root note, and then E, G, B. But let's go back to the beginning. So we have this A sus. Then the G. Then the A minor. Now a C for one. And then F for one pattern back to C. And so when we get to that C this time, we're gonna hit the, the A string and then E, G, B. But then ring finger is gonna go up and hit the fifth, like a bass line, like our Travis picking thing. So we hit that and then the same thing here. So. 
then back to the C note again. So all together. So let's go to the, from the top. Then the G. Now the A minor. Now one C, one F, and now the C with the walking. And now one F again. And now this time on C, we do a different right hand pattern. So it's gonna be A, high E, then D, B, so. Then ring finger to the third of the E, and then the, the classic E, G, B. So watch. That's the pattern on this chord. So. Right from that, when you pick that B string, now we go to F again, but it gets repeated four times. But it's the same pattern as the other times we've played F. So it would be, you know, if you had the bar chord, or if you played it that way, it's E, E, G, B. And then finally, a new, Probably the trickiest part, that little counterpoint part. I mean, it sounds like more than one guitar. Uh, let's go from the beginning, real slow, and then we'll get to the kind of tricky counterpoint. All right, from the top, slowed down a bit for you. So we got the A sus. The G chord. We have A minor. And then C for one pattern. F for one pattern. And now a C walking. And now F for one. And now the different C pattern. F for four. And now the new pattern. So you're going to start with it and think of it as a C chord, but we're not even uh, doing anything on that eight. A string, so, but that part of it, which you could also call it A minor seven. So it's gonna be a D pluck with the thumb, and then E, B, E, like that. So you have D, E, B, E, and then back to the D again. After that, you're gonna hit the B, so check it out. Then ring finger is going to go up to the third fret and hit uh, three, two on the D without any other strings. So you put that together. Sorry. So we're going three, two, and then three on the A string with nothing else. So. After that note, you're going to hit the high E and the G. So. Again. So 
So then you've got to hit second fret, open A, after that high E, G, so. And then I'm using my index and middle, and I'm going G, B, G. Then a C chord, and you're going to hit A, D, sorry, A, G, D. Just straight C triad. A little rest to the G chord. And instead of what we did earlier, which was just E, E, G, you know, now we're going to do... So the last note's a B string instead of high E. So E, E, G, B. And you do that twice. And then that top A sus again. Hello, darkness. So let's go all the way through it nice and slow. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Once again, thank you uh, to Black Mountain Picks for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out in the link in the description. Uh, thanks again for supporting Marty Music. You know, I appreciate uh, if you were to subscribe here, click the bell notification, um, you know, leave comments, like the video. All that is greatly appreciated. Thank you. And I uh, hope to see you guys in another video real soon. Bye-bye.